So we're calling this year 21 days of praying the word. And we believe that the word of God is living and active. It's, it's powerful that we believe that God's life is breathed into us by the spirit as we come to the scriptures. Jesus actually said to some Pharisees in John chapter 5, verse 39, some religious leaders of the day, he said, you diligently search the scriptures and you think that you have eternal life through them. Basically he's saying, just because you have all this information and knowledge, you think you have life, he says, but you've missed the whole point point that these very scriptures testify of me. That Jesus actually was inviting them not into just an increased knowledge, but into an encounter with God himself through the word. That these words bring us to a revelation of who Jesus is and what God has done for us in Christ. So we're inviting the Holy Spirit to be our guide and our teacher as we come to the word and as we speak the word. We're actually hearing ourselves say what we believe in our heart. And the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Um, um, we're actually learning how to speak the language of heaven as we're, we're taking those words that began in heaven and realizing their impact on the earth as we pray God's will and God's heart through the word. So we're not just going to be praying verbatim, literally the scriptures. We're going to take the truth and the essence of those scriptures, what they're revealing to us, and we're going to lean into them and pray those together. And there's going to be, I think, a unique encounter with God that we're going to have in our times of integrating together the word and prayer. So January 8th to January 28th, we're setting aside 21 days for prayer and fasting. And uh, we have resources that are available to support you in that, um, to uh, help us to have a daily focus together and that information is in the letter that you're given there. Or you can go to foursquareprayer.org and you can find all of that information there. We look forward to praying together with you.